Welcome to LeapFrog BI Academy course BD120 Data Flow Diagram. This is the fourth video in this course and we are going to be creating a data flow diagram from our, for our date dimension. Let's jump over to the data model that we're trying to support so we can see what we need to accomplish. So far we've created a data flow diagram for the product dimension, the promotion dimension, and the location dimension. Now we need to do the same for our date dimension. Now the unique thing about a date dimension is typically that you are not going to actually source the data from your source applications. You're going to actually generate this date dimension. And it's going to uh, simply have a grain that is at the, um, the time or date uh, granularity that supports your facts. In this case, we're going to have a, a, a grain that is at the daily grain. So one record per day in our date dimension. And we'll have a record for every day for some period of time, uh, starting in, say, day one and going all the way through uh, the, the year that, that we expect to have data um, covering. So there's many ways to actually create this data or to generate the table that's going to be used to uh, use as a the date dimension. For example, you can use uh, SQL Server Analysis Services. There's capabilities built in that will actually generate this table for you. Uh, you can set up a while loop over some date range. Uh, we're going to take, take a quick look here at using a common table expression to create a simple date dimension. So this is a simple common table expression. Um, we might talk about this more in future uh, courses, but for now, I just want to make sure that it's clear how this date dimension is going to get in place because creating the data flow diagram, as you're going to see in a minute, is extremely simple. So this CTE uh, has two variables defined, a start and an end date, where I've put in 1975 to 2025, and it has an anchor member of current date. And it, you can see that all it's doing is it's saying, okay, we'll select that current date and do a union all uh, to the current date plus one day where that value is less than or equal to the end date. So that this just says, give me a list of dates from my start to my end date. And then I'm doing a selection here from that date range, that CTE, and it is going to uh, enable me to create all the attributes I want for my date dimension. For example, I've set up my ID, which is my surrogate uh, key here, to be uh, formatted such as year, 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 month, month, day, day. So uh, th this is a uh, in 1975 would be 19750101, for example. And then we have another date, an actual date format for the date uh, that that day represents. We have a year, a quarter, a month, a week, and so on. You can put as many attributes as you want in here. When I run this, you can see that we do have, in fact, a day, a record for every day. And we have our year, quarter, month, week, and so on. So this is a very simple way to create a date dimension. I will go ahead and post this to the uh, course uh, so that you can uh, download it if you would like. All right, let's jump back over now to our data flow diagram. Let's create a new sheet here. And I'm going to call this one DM date just to be consistent. And this is going to be really simple. I'm going to drag in a single component, dimension component. Zoom in here a little bit. And this dimension, we're going to call dim date, of course. The description, we're going to say this is our date dimension sourced from an existing table. As I mentioned, we're going to generate this date dimension uh, ourselves. We're not going to source it from the source system or VentureWorks. So the template we're going to use in this case is actually D2000. We're going to look at more of these templates in later courses. But for now, just know that the D2000 dimension template is used to consume an existing dimension. So I don't have to actually create a dimension. I'm just going to point to an existing dimension and use that in LeapFrog BI just as if I did create it. Connection will be DW. And my D key will be on uh, date key. Whatever we want to call it. It's not important at this point. And... I am done. So that's pretty much it. 
again, since we're using our D2000 template to create this dimension, we're sourcing from an existing dimension, which we're going to generate by doing something like using a CTE to create the, the uh, date dimension. And that's pretty much it. We're all done. We're going to use that dimension in Leapfrog BI to uh, uh, create our, or to point our foreign key uh, needs in our fact table to. And Leapfrog BI will make sure that all those keys are handled um, appropriately. All right. This is uh, this concludes the four dimensions in our data model that we're trying to create. So in the next video, the final video of this course, we're going to talk about, or we're actually going to are going to create the data flow diagram from our fact table here. So we'll see you in that course or in that video.